Hello! Now, I've heard that in anatomy class, you guys are currently working on pulse. So I was thinking about how I can incorporate this whole idea of functions that we've been talking about into something that relates to pulse anatomy. So I thought that if I put myself to a bit of an experiment here and went through a number of exercise routines, I could keep track of my pulse and then we could make some sort of function from that data. That is your responsibility, so make sure that you've got a pen, paper, something you can record all this information with over the next few minutes that I'll be presenting to you, and then tomorrow in class we'll be looking at it together. So I was thinking of also the most personally embarrassing way that I could do this possible, and I got a copy here of Dance Central 2 that I will be um, very poorly dancing to. But before we even get to that, let's get my pulse baseline. So, at rest, seventy one, seventy one heartbeats. Herman. The function that we make is going to track the changes in the pulse over time. shape. Let's see where the pulse is at. Easy. That's 121 beats per minute. Still feeling pretty good. Working up a little bit of a sweat. so bad so far. Okay, so that was about 118. 
Uh, felt a little easier than the last one. But still, three beats per minute compared to a uh, hundred is kind of a small percentage difference. Uh, if you Certainly breathing a lot heavier, but uh, that's probably because I'm way out of shape. One twenty-eight beats per minute. Um, it feels like at the start of every time I take my measure, I'm beating a lot faster, but when I'm sitting here, it kind of calms it down. One nineteen bulletproof on on hard. Um, I don't think this is going to cut it. I'm starting maybe to get used to this, so uh, so we got to find something else that's gonna take it to the next level. Uh, for. What is love? 160 beats per minute. One, uh, 144, and I, I think it would have been higher, but uh, I didn't know what I was doing right there. That was going really, really fast. So, 144, I, uh, I hope you've got your data. If not, you can go back, get all these guys. Um, so, make note of this, start thinking of ways you can interpret this data, of making a, a, a function out of it. Uh, there's our inputs, our x, and our outputs, our y. Which input goes to, to which output. Think of the domain, that's all the values you can put into x. Think of the range, that's all the values that are outputted, your Y, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk about this more tomorrow. I need to rest.